The next question begins with uh, Mrs. Cheeseman. Uh, what core principles and values make you a Republican? What core principles and values make me a Republican? Uh, Abraham Lincoln, anyone? I believe that we are all blessed with different abilities. And the job of government is to create the circumstances where we can make the most of those abilities. I think it's, what's that old saying? Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you'll feed him for life. My Republican philosophy, philosophy is to teach as many people as possible to fish. And for those who don't fish, make sure they get fed. I believe in the wonders of the private enterprise system. People denigrate capitalism, but it's done more to raise people out of poverty than any other system in the world. I believe that when I get up every day, I am going to do the best I can and encounter people who are going to do the best I can to make this town, this state, this country a better one. And those are my core Republican beliefs. And uh, same question to you, uh, Ms. Hogan. Uh, what core values and principles make you a Democrat? My core values as a Democrat is that we work together to get the job done and we leave no one behind. And we also believe in the private market and capitalism, but we know that sometimes some people are going to fall behind through the cracks that no matter what, that they're going to remain in the cracks. So sometimes that person might need a hand up, a hand up to be able to engage in the system of the give and takes and the benefits and rewards. And how is that done? That's done through hard work. Nobody hands it to you on a platter. Nobody ever does. You have to work hard. But it has to mean something. It can't be that you do that all your life and you turn around and there's nothing in your pocket because everybody's taking care of everybody else on the top. And as far as I'm concerned, and both parties, I think, suffer from this, it's too much for everything up on the top and never enough for the person who's just working their job. And I come from a long line of Democrats, uh, from people, Irish immigrants, that back in the day, and I guess that Ray thought Roosevelt was the greatest thing since sliced bread, and that every kitchen had a picture of Jesus Christ with the heart next to John F. Kennedy. And if a Republican walked in the room, oh, and we're all married to Republicans, what I'm saying is that was the true Democratic Party. It's changed. Special interests on both sides of the parties have corrupted the system. We have special interests calling the shots on the Democratic side, and we have them calling them on the Republican side. And it's a question of greed and access. But for me, I'm still a Democrat at heart because I believe that if you just keep working and you do an honest day's work, the best result should happen, and you should work with everybody. But I don't believe that when I look at somebody and see someone struggling in the streets, and I'm not saying that my counterpart is saying that, but sometimes they stereotype each group, stereotypes. I'm not going to say somebody, well, that person can do better. What's that person's problem? All they have to do is move away from this area. Not looking at the totality of the circumstances of why someone's standing there in their shoes and not having the ability to project themselves in the shoes of people. I hear people suffering that are trying to afford medical expenses and prescription drugs. I see people being caregivers to parents and children that have no support and are doing it alone. Those are the democratic principles, and that's who we should be representing. And uh, Mrs. Cheeseman, having heard your opponent's description of the Democrats, what, what concerns you about the democratic philosophy that makes you? I would have thought she was a Republican from hearing that. <laughs> No, I, you know, I, <laughs> I don't think so. I, I think that <laughs> both of us want the best for our, what would be our constituents. I'm not going to argue with that. And I really have nothing else to say. All right. Thank you. Uh, I think we have time for one more question, uh, one of our local questions. And uh, it would go to. So I'm interested in knowing what do you think then if I didn't address what a Democrat is? My question for me, <laughs> I'll yeah. leave that to the viewers to decide. Okay. 